What's up guys, Ankle Spangin here, and today we are playing as Azir in the mid lane. And if you guys don't know, Azir, ever since his release, very quickly became one of my most favorite champions to play. So with that, I decided that you know it's 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 been a little while since I've played this guy, and I I've been missing him a lot because Bird God is too fun to me. And I also want to try that double Morella Namicon build too. So We'll be doing that this game. Anyways, I know in my vein video I said I would record Gallium mid for you guys, and I was just like, you know, I just feel like having fun right now. And Azir was just sticking out to me. So I decided I would just play Azir instead. So, you know, yeah, you guys will, I know, you guys will just have to suffer with actually watching me have fun instead of forcing myself to play a different champion. Oh, God, painful. Anyways. Going over these teams here, this is just a normal team builder game. I solo queued. Uh, and we did get mashed up with other diamonds on my team. I didn't lull Nexus to the game, but I'm assuming since everyone was like diamond and platinum uh, with the borders on my team, that's a generally higher elo game, so it should still be pretty good for you guys to watch. And of course, uh, you know, as Azir, you don't really, you don't really get any choice other than to start with your Arise first, which is your W, and that brings up your Shream and Ballers. So let's sit here and well, we'll, we'll be CSing it first. I don't know if we'll be against the Yasuo or the Teemo. Hopefully the Yasuo. Um, but either way, I should be totally fine. And it is the Yasuo, so let's start this lane off with just CSing. The rest of the matches will be Darius versus Teemo up top. It looks like it'll be, uh, whoop, I'm going to be taking up some little damage there. And I didn't get my uh, Shurim and Baller out in time, but I did get some good old auto attacks off on him. So that works out beautifully for me. And as long as I don't sit here and miss these, we should be good. And he's actually running a Doran's Shield to try and negate my auto attack damage. Not a bad choice, but let's go ahead and break that shield of his. That little passive, and let's boop. Oh shit, I missed that minion. That kind of stinks. So the Olaf level 2 gank looking like he's going to come in here after that, uh, after his blue steal. So, totally given that away. Let's go ahead and grab our Q though. So now I can actually have an ability for my Shreem and Ballers. What the Q does is it takes your active Shreem and Ballers and launches them in the direction that, um, from wherever they're standing to the direction of your mouse. So... It gets them, you know, it gets them in position, essentially, and it deals damage and slows anyone that they pass through. So, now that we are level 3, I'm actually running the wrong summoner spell. I have heal. Uh, that is... Oh, God, that is terrible that I just missed that. That kind of stinks. Okay, well, let's get another auto off on him here, and I should be able to get... What? What? Oh, my... Oh, my God! I am just messing up all over the place, guys. I apologize. First game of the day. Let's see, I should still be pretty on par with him at least. Oh god, he knocked all of those up. So let's go ahead and just boop. And boop, boop. And boop. Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm totally going to miss that one. Damn it, I tried to E myself into it for it. But it was not... It was it was not in my fate. So anyway, let's go ahead and ward here real fast. I don't know where Jarvan is, but I should get at least one ward out. Uh, that way I kind of have a general idea... Boy, I can do it. Looks like there's a Teemo gank going off on top. Olaf, charge around the side. Dunkmaster Darius pulling him in. There's the flash away from the Teemo poison and ignite, so he's going to get killed. But it looks like Olaf will be going in for this. The undertow and the blind. One more. Whoop. There it is. The flash auto taking him out. Good job. Freaking 40 kecks. And let's go ahead and just try not to get knocked up. Okay, perfectly done. Perfectly done. I would say perfectly done. Let's go ahead and just uh, drop this boy here, my Shreem and Baller. I'm using it as somewhat of a sentinel. Um, and by the way, guys, if you don't know how Azir works, he is a rather uh, complicated champion in a sense. But he's not like the most complex thing ever. He's just really, really odd to get used to. I know I'm not really explaining much about what he does, and I do apologize for that, but it's because I'm, you know, still waking up in all honesty. Well, let's go ahead and just see if I can pop that shield of his. There we go. 
Now he doesn't have a shield, but I don't have any wards, so I do still need to be somewhat mindful of what I am doing here. So let's just keep that, you know, fresh in our mind. Don't know where Jarvan is, haven't seen him in a little while, or at least if I have seen him, I haven't been paying attention. You know, let's, uh, let's see if I can pop that shield again here in just a second. And as long as I stand up close, bam, boom, bam, uh-oh, whoop! Let's go ahead and just avoid that gank by using my WE to dash out of the uh, the Jarvan ganks. So solid play right there. Oh shit! I didn't think I uh, think would hit that. Whoops! I'm getting knocked up. Ah! I'm gonna have to go back here. I think. Maybe. No, I don't need to go back here, but I'm still going. No, I'm not going to. This is a siege wave. I don't particularly want to go back on a siege wave. So, I don't think he can kill me if he ults me, but uh, I'd also rather not risk it. Because, for one thing, I mean, I just saw Jarvan top, but I didn't want to, you know, take any gamble of Jarvan being around me. Because if he was over here and Yasuo decided to ult me if I stepped out of just a tad too far, that could have very easily resulted in my death. So, for clear reasons, I wanted to avoid that if, if at all possible. So, now we have the Emperor's Divide. And let me just... You know, explain to you guys a couple things about Azir real fast. Azir works by, uh, whoop! Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, God. I should be careful. I don't have mana. But Azir works by whenever you drop these soldiers of his, the Shireem and Ballers, as I call them. Um, if you're in range of them, and, or not, excuse me. Well, yeah, if you're in range of them, but if they're also in range of things as well, with that little circle around them, that is your new auto attack. Okay, it sounds kind of weird I know but bear with me that is your new auto attack um, and what I mean by that is your auto attacks as you guys have been watching it makes my guy like kind of spirit and you know poke him with the with the jabby thing you know what I'm saying I don't know how else to explain it right now just stab him with the poker and I, I don't know but <clears throat> the point is like, you, you poke them. It makes your streaming ballers poke them. And you can, as you, as I get more CDR and stuff, you guys will see me do more and more with my people. For right now, I've just been trying to guide a slightly relaxed lane phase. Um, <laughs> and if you guys know anything about me, you would also know that I am just, just terrible when it comes to CSing with mages. So, that is just, you know, one of those standardly accepted facts about watching me play. I am so bad at CSing with mid laners sometimes, or usually, not sometimes, but usually. So let's get, not get knocked up there. Looks like we got Yasuo coming. I'm going to go ahead and just spear him a little bit. And let's see, maybe, maybe. Let's go ahead and just go over here and get the ultimate back off on this guy. Boom, we got a lot of damage coming out here. And Olaf will come in. So just using my ultimate to shove him forward and bringing Olaf pretty much a free kill. So that will be a good example of what you can do with the Emperor's Divide. I actually didn't expect it to be that easy for me to pull off because I didn't think uh, <laughs> I didn't think you would kind of like fly at me when I was doing it. But we got pretty fortunate there. And he actually chose... Yeah, this is a free dragon now. But he actually chose to um, try and dash through a minion at the same time that I was flying to him. Now, if you guys don't know how Azir's E works, what that does is that makes it so I fly to one of my Shreeman Ballers, and then if I collide with an enemy champion, I knock them up, do damage to them, and also get a small shield for myself. Um, and that's pretty much all of the abilities. The Emperor's Divide, what that does, if you guys didn't see it there, it throws a wall that sprouts out from me of my stream and ballers, and it knocks, like it pushes people who are hit by them, and they can't go through that wall. My teammates can go through that wall, but the enemies cannot go through my wall. So it's it works kind of like that. Whoa, what the heck was Draven doing right there? Not too sure what his plan was at that point, but maybe... May, oh, she is staying... She is staying. She is going to die. These guys are going down. And let's go ahead and whoosh. This is going to be... Whoop, wait. What are you doing? What are you doing? Let's go ahead and just... Whoa! That was a big flash there. Let's go ahead and just... Whoop. 
get this slow off on him. Look at that damage, and it looks like, wait, come on, come on, oh, nope, ooh, the Undertow Snipe, what up, Olaf, this boy is going ham, so that will actually be a third assist for me, even, oh god, it looks like Teemo is not, there is Timo is doing well. Darius is the one not doing well. So that okay. Well, at least I get a blue. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, uh, it looks like what's his face. Oh, I'm gonna lose my tower. I shouldn't run that way. I was out of lane for way too long. Whoops. All right, that that kind of stinks, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and summon a turret here, which is Azir's passive, by the way. You can summon you know turrets off your friendly shit when they fall, but um. Also, just another small kind of tip thing, if you guys, you know, care to listen to my small tips. Um, when you're losing lanes so badly, you don't want to continue to build damage. That's, that's like, the last thing you want to do. Oh, yeah, also, other little other things about Azir, like, um, if you summon a Shreem and Baller and get it under an enemy tower, it'll last half as long. Uh, what what other little things about Azir are there? I can't think of other tiny things off the top of my head. I should back off right now. Because I did see the bot lane coming up. Jarvan right there. I don't want to fuck with anything. And I was right to back off because there they are. <sighs> and had I stayed forward like a head, that could have been pretty bad. Um, and I kind of want to leave this lane so I can go hell Darius. But at the same time, I know I really don't want to leave this lane. But, whoops, I'm going to be getting hit up by that. Let's go ahead and just get out of here. Oops, oh, I missed. But they're not going to get me, so that's okay. Uh, I don't have any potions, though, so that's one thing I need to be careful of. Let's go ahead and just, boop, maybe, maybe. If I can just, whoop, get some uh, little pokes off here and there. That should be good for us. But... Oh, look at that damage! Get out of here, Jinx. Looks like she'll be thinking twice before she walks up in our face again. <laughs> so, hopefully though. We actually aren't doing too bad on CS. Uh, Yasuo does have his shiv, so I'm pretty terrified of him at the moment. But, all things considered, 85 or 83 to 85 isn't all that terrible. So let's pop that shield of his right there. Whoa, never mind. Not going to be popping that shield. And, oh, I'm... I thought I was in for a pickle. Well, let's go ahead and take this lantern here. It looks like now... Teemo is 6-1. Because apparently Olaf tried to fight him and got himself killed. So, this game, it's not that it'll be impossible to win by any means. Uh, in fact, I still think it'll even be rather easy. Um, because six of their team's nine kills are on a Teemo, where, granted, he hurts, but he shouldn't be an issue as the game goes on. Now, <laughs> don't quote me on that. I'm just saying he shouldn't be, because Teemo is more one of those champions that's generally annoying instead of effective, but I'm not saying it's, oh god, dude. I'm not saying it's going to be impossible for him to do much, but let's see, so... Dragon's up in a minute. Um, don't know what kind of wards they have around here. Let's go ahead and just get a big old bop off on Yasuo right there. And by big old, I just mean like a you know standard size miniature bop. And oh, I shouldn't run this way. If I ran that way, I was dead. Great thing I warded right there. Very fortunate because Jarvan can just EQ me, knock me up, and then Yasuo gets his free ultimate off of that. So. I am trying to play it a little safe, and it's definitely affecting, you know, my farm and just generally, you know, everything I've been doing. But, whoa, looks like we got this guy over here. And come on, maybe, bam, bam, whoop. Oh, there it is. There's the shutdown. And the Shreem and Ballers will be picking up another kill here. Double kill for me. So a fantastic hook by the Thresh right there to pick up the Jinx, and also keeping the uh, 
the Teemo in range for me, so that will be 800 gold for me off of just those two kills due to one being a 500 gold shutdown and the other just being a standard kill off on Jinx. So with all that said, let's go ahead and... Oh, what? What? Whoa, let's not get knocked up here and see if maybe we can get some hurt off on these guys. And are I going to drop the heal, drop the Emperor's Divide, and whoosh! There's one kill, and let's see it. Come on. Oh, I don't have mana, but the Shreeman Ballers must... Okay, the Shreeman Ballers will not fall, and that will be the end of that fight with Darius picking up a top lane turret. So very well done by everyone on my team. Spectacularly done. Now let's go ahead and just see. Maybe we can get some stuff off here. There's the stream and baller slow. And it looks like this lady will not be getting out of here. And whoop. Oh, the undertow once again. Whoa, that flash pole. What? Whoop. And bam. That'll be another kill going out for me. Put me on a rampage. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. 404 and 2300 gold to go back with so after I got my source issues my first Morello Nomicon I was in a really good position now I have double Morello Nomicon so I'm capped out on CDR have a lot more attack speed because that's the other part of Azir's passive where his CDR is converted to attack speed and now I also have a lot more AP and a lot more mana regen so if you guys don't know why I'm doing double Morello Nomicon I actually asked Bjergsen himself like in person because I was so curious about it um, and it's simply due to the fact that the champions that can utilize all that CDR, they actually get a massive amount of usage out of it, which, after he explained it to me, it made a lot of sense. Uh, and I think they're doing the dragon? Yeah. I was kind of hesitant to do that just looking on my map, but, uh, bam, look at that damage. So let's actually totally not do anything here. And I'm glad I was very hesitant because I think I would have died had they tried to go in. The only option would be maybe I could have tried to poke them off of it. But I was still very hesitant to try and do anything. Because if I get touched by you know anything by mistake, I'm going to be taking a big ol' amount of hurt. And that's... Well, that is just no fun. But with our double Morel Namakon here... We do have quite a lot of power. And by the way, it's really efficient too. Like, look at all my stats. I have max CDR and 250 AP right now. For what? What is it? 4,200 gold? Just kind of think about that. It's just... Like, that's really good, actually. When... After, like, after I asked Bjerg and he put it in numbers for me, I was like, what the heck? That actually makes so much sense. But anyways... My CSN could stand to be much better than this, you know, garbage. That's okay. Did my... Did my Shreeman Baller just get stopped by that wall? Uh. Bam, son! Look at that damage! One Q and one auto chunk from my Baller will be taking out quite a lot of that Jinx's health there. Now let's go ahead and knock a hit by the Zap here. And with my blue... Boop, let's get him in position and not be in front of this flag. So there we go. Whoop. There's the wind wall again. It looks like Teemo will be pushing down the top lane. Not all five of us need to go up here. I'm going to go ahead and use my tower. And it looks like, let's see, Olaf with the undertow. And all right, so now at the tower, we should be relatively safe. Look at that damage being poked off down there. And whoa, whoa, what the heck? What are you doing? Oh boy, let's go ahead and just whoosh. There's one kill and two kills going out. There's the double kill and see, maybe the Shreeman Ballers will reign supreme. Come on, Super Mega Death Rocket going to miss. Triple kill coming out and using a beautiful Emperor's Divide will turn the tides of that battle instantly using the Jarvan Ultimate as protection from the two melees and then using my wall to shove them out from my little safe zone so not to toot my own horn or anything here but that was spectacularly well done by me um picking up a triple kill and now i'm gonna just get a bit more farm looks like olaf and jinx killed each other so that's <laughs> that's kind of funny but let's see here boop bip. and now i shall return to base so 
as you guys can see, I do have 2,400 gold right now. People aren't really building any MR, so I'm actually going to go straight for my Rabadons next, and I can afford both components of it here in 5 gold. So I just went from like 250 AP to 385. So I am getting very powerful right now. Incredibly powerful. And it looks like our top laner is 0 and 4 and our Draven is 0 and 5. But hopefully Darius can just go tank from or here on out. Darius, can you go tank now? And I'm not saying this to try and be mean. I'm saying this because our team, for one, desperately needs the tank. Like that's all there is to it. We just, you know, need him. So, ooh, that zap is going to do some big ol' hurts off on me. But it will be okay. But, um, you know, not only do we need the tank, Darius is just more effective as a tank, you know, as, a, as far as the champion goes. Um, he just works better that way. Because if you're not tank, you can't really get into a fight and do Darius things, you know what I mean? So, if you guys are trying to play Darius some... That was a really long Dragon Strike. But if you guys are trying to play Darius, a damage item is okay if you're ahead at first. But don't go full damage Darius like it's funny. It, <laughs> you can do it in normals totally for fun. But I do not recommend it one bit for a serious game. And I'm actually chilling off on the side here if you guys notice. Because I don't want to be the focus of any attention. Ever. Uh, I just want to take this nice and slowly, do a bunch of damage here. They will not be in range to get the damage off on me. And let's go ahead and BAM! Wait, this will be a lot of damage going off on him. And whoosh! That's going to be the kill there. And let's go ahead and drop the Emperor's Divide here. And whoop! Let's go ahead and what? One more damage. One more. One more. Flash out and safe. So the double kill right there going down. There's the ace actually. Splitting the rest of the team up right there will be taking them out 5 for 1 using the Azir damage to get the picks off where I can also picking up the um, the Jarvan blue buff and with Azir's W that actually is an ability that can be used on turrets and what it does is it does massive turret damage as you can see at the very bottom of the tooltip there this deals 285 plus 233 magic damage to a turret Let's see, we got our full Rabadons now, bumping us up to 514 AP. And now, I will go after probably... Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't tried the double Morel Namicon build, and I think... The build I used to do, uh, I would go with one Morello and then get Rylize and Lyandris along with my Rabadons and whatnot. Uh-oh, I'm coming. I'm coming, homie. I'm coming, homie. Okay, so they're trying to do this dragon, and I need to try to say no. So let's go ahead and just, whoop. This is going to be, whoa, I need this Emperor's Divide immediately. But look at this damage. Oh, that dragon doing work. Oh, shit. Fuck. Wait, dragon? No, dragon's not going to stop him. I fucked up there so badly, though. I messed up really badly by not paying attention to exactly where I was, and that will be a large mistake. What the heck? Okay, wait, one kill? And the exhaust, two kills? Never mind, not what the heck at all! This guy's a beast! Whoa, that Super Mega Death Rocket not going to take him out. The hook and the triple kill with the Undertow. Thresh trying to flay, duking it out with this Jinx. Almost the zap right there, there's the Undertow. If that hook landed, wait, what the heck are you doing? What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh my god! We'll pick up the kill! This Thresh is now officially a beast, and it looks like Darius is being slain by the Teemo once again. So, bit of a shame, but no surprise there in the same in the same time. And well, let's see if we can be Teemo's next contender. Because I am very confident that we could fight him if he wanted to scrap it down with us. So let's see, let's just throw that in there, do some damage and see if he's in there. He's not. If he was, he would have taken quite a lot of damage. Uh, and I'm sure that, well, Teemo does not want that from me. So let's see. Look at that little jab in his little dortle butt there. So let's just keep dropping our streaming ballers. As you guys can see with all the CDR that I have, um, 
I can actually keep using my minions very rapidly. They're on a very short recharge time. To be specific or be exact, it's 4.8 resecond time or recharge time. Which to put in perspective, each of my soldiers lasts for nine seconds after I summon them. So oh god damn it, I already forgot it was there. Ugh. That's okay though. That is okay. Kind of stinks, but it's okay. But like I said, if I try and take total advantage of good Lord, this Teemo has a lot of AP. How much AP? Oh, he has Death Cop and Morellos and Haunt. Okay, so he is 10 and 4. Uh, he's actually more fit than I am. Jeez. Jeez, man. Jeez. Okay. But what do I want to go for next? I think... Since pretty much no one's building any MR except Janna right now. Um, well, I guess Jarvan's starting to as well. I'll see what they have next time I have an opportunity to go by. But my next item will either be Zonia's or Void Staff. Not sure which one I for sure want to go for yet, but it will be one of the two. So let's go ahead and just clear this wave real fast. And try not to get hit by any poke. Because I do not have any sustain as Azir. Um, and I think the Zonia's would probably be the better choice right now. Shit, I'm coming. Shoot. Alright, let's see. Bam. Bam. Shit, I missed. All right, whoa, and come on, look at that damage, and there goes her heal, and it looks like maybe no, no more kills coming out. Look at that poke, look at that poke, and uh, uh, uh. yeah, look at that zoning potential. Let's go ahead and not get by that zap either. So I can keep them at bay as long as I play my cards right. If you guys ask me, I would say that Azir is kind of like Orianna in the sense that he's a rather defensive mage. That when played properly, his potential is damn near limitless. Which is, I think, what interests me so much about Azir. Uh, I just think he's incredible as a champion in general. And on top of that, he is just a shit ton of fun. But... Like, he's so in-depth and complicated, and I love that about this guy. Because if he wasn't as difficult to use as he is, there is no way I would have half the amount of fun playing him that I do. <sighs> but let's see here. I do need to be a little careful. I can... Whoa, he has a full Banshees now, and that is something I need to keep in mind. Did that Q not hit him? Maybe it, okay, let's just throw my stream baller in there. And let's see. Okay. Timo. 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 Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god, he has AD. Ah. Oh god. I was not out in time. I should have flashed it. The zap wrecked me though. So that was totally 100% my mistake. We need to be grouping though. We need to group. I don't know why we stopped doing that. It was working really well. Pretty much, like I said, all we need to do is group right now. Because um, with how powerful I am myself and how powerful Olaf is, Olaf is a massive frontliner and I'm a massive backliner. Which, it's, you know, it, it, it's good for team fighting. Yeah, but our team fight is good with you and I. And that's what I'm trying to show them. Um, because, like, if we play it properly, we're so powerful, in, in all honesty. And Darius is still going for more damage, so that's, that's not very good. And now, see, like, <laughs> now these guys are trying to fight without us, and that's, <laughs> that is the issue. Let's go ahead and, whoa, looks like, uh, whoop, not going to be getting this guy. Wait, Timo, Timo. Uh, damn it! Didn't get him. I tried to hit him with my Flash Emperor's Divide. Um, fuck. <sighs> I tried to hit him with the Flash Emperor's Divide along with my WQ to see if I could kill him before I died because I was pretty sure that his trap was going to kill me with how much damage he has. So I was trying to get you know, everything I could off instead of just feeling worthless. If that makes sense. Ugh. I want that bot farm. I really want just just a little bit more. So I actually have home guards up. I think 
doing Baron without me there? Obviously a terrible idea. Uh, with Yasuo bottom, but Draven also bottom. This, actually, it could be turning out for the better. It could definitely be turning out for the better. But, <clears throat> I do definitely need my Zonias. That would be very good. So, it looks like they're doing the Baron. If I can get over there and just hop over the wall, we can probably sneak this very successfully. So, oh, thank you. That makes it a bit easier for me. And actually... One thing you guys should never underestimate is how fast Azir helps do Baron. Um, it's pretty impressive. So with that done, looks like there it is right now, ladies and gents. So let's see if we can get this guy. And whoop. Maybe. Oh boy, what have I done? What have I done got myself into? Nothing. But let's go ahead and get this tower up right there. Boom, get some minions. And I think we should go bottom. Because if we can go bottom with Draven along with this wave that's pushing, this can be really good. So, I think this place that I'm in right now is a spectacular place for me to try and be as a Zir at the moment. It sounds kind of silly, but being over the wall, well actually not over, you know, silly, but being over the wall like this and just being able to do this shit to people is... Perfect. So let's knock it knocked up here. Uh, and maybe... So there's a little... Oh my god, that Teemo damage. Sudden, whoa, the Super Mega Death Rod coming out and the Flash Flag and Drag. Now let's go ahead and drop the Emperor's Divide right here and walling them off. And look at this damage coming out. And maybe, maybe... Oh shit, get me out of here. I don't want none of this taking that lantern out so a big emperor's divide will at least stop the fight from getting too icky Timo go away go away Timo so he's actually going to just jack my blue Whoop. holy fuck what the fuck oh my god Darius please go tank Darius please go tank we need him as a tank. We don't need him doing the no damage that he's trying to do. Oh, God. Okay. So, Darius and Draven are making this game excruciatingly difficult. Um, after I get Zonia's, it won't be as bad. Or at least it shouldn't be. Um, but still, for right now, God damn. That is... That is disgusting how fed he got. Um, I'm not even totally sure where he got that fed from, but he got very fed. So, that kind of stinks. Not you, Darius. You should take it, Olaf. I don't think Darius should take the red, um, but that's okay. Okay. Uh, or, or Draven for that matter. I mean, either way, I don't think it's a great choice. Whatever, I got my Zonias, so this will help a lot. We do still have Baron on a couple people, I think. That is the cutest face. That is so adorable. So maybe let's see. Okay, I'm going to go save this tower. Um, because if I can save this at least, that'll be good. So let's go ahead and just drop this off. Um, whoop. Of course, I'm not going to go chasing after him, but pretty much I just need to stave him off of this turret. So, Darius, <laughs> pretty much dying from hitting, like, two mushrooms, it seems. And that's, well, pretty expected with his lack of tank. But let's see, maybe I can get a good fight here. Because this is another very good location for, uh, what's-his-face to fight in. So let's see, looks like, whoa, this guy going out, I'm going to go ahead and flash out of this. Looks like he's coming in, let's go, whoosh, there's one kill, and let's go ahead and maybe, not yet, and, uh, uh, oh, shit, I'm so fucked, dude. Oh, I should have hit my Zonias, oh, God. I messed that up tremendously. Um, I wanted to try and get a good ultimate off, which is why I went flying in like that, and okay, so the... 
damage Darius paying off while he was not blinded that <laughs> fortunate for us uh, never thought it would but fortunate for us so with since Darius actually got those kills they're not going to be able to take this turret um, that's that's the great thing about this right now or at least they shouldn't be able to because Thresh and Olaf are up so Olaf is just going to run up and run right into the shroom perfectly done and lose like all of his HP okay so Olaf looks like he's getting pretty kited right now and oh my god god damn it bam Draven with the shutdown so Olaf just got destroyed just utterly and totally murdered um and he totally looks like a fool right now because of it but that's okay I've done that quite a few times this game I've fallen from grace this game uh, cause I was doing very well and then I started making very questionable and silly plays. Which, you know, it happens. It happens. But pretty much all I gotta do right now is step it the fuck up and get these silly plays out of my head. So let's go ahead and not be too close to them on that side. So we got the dragon. That's good. That's good. And woo! Hee <laughs> hee. Gonna take that as a, a little taxi cab on out of here. And whoop! See if we can get these Merc Wolves real fast. And I do have a decent amount of attack speed. Also, I would like to address this like I have every other time I played Azir. Don't get Nasher's Tooth on Azir. Okay, let me let me rephrase that. You can get Nasher's Tooth on Azir. I do not recommend Nasher's Tooth on Azir. A lot of people do, for whatever reason. Um, not sure why, because the on hit effects do not apply. To Azir's soldiers. I mean the stats are still decently okay on him, but the stats, I repeat, do not or the on hit effects do not apply to Azir's soldiers. So because technically Azir's soldiers are spells, not auto attacks. Which is why Lyandry's works with Azir's soldiers, but the Nasher's Tooth does not. So, little things to keep in mind there. See if we can maybe do anything on this guy. And I am trying to be a little too upfront, I think, right now. But that is A-OK. -okay. And I think my last item is going to be a Void Staff. It could be... This is the iffy thing. I could either go Void Staff or Rylize pretty safely right now. But as you guys can see, just a good old bop on Jinx's noggin. We'll show her that I am in this business. But since she has a bloodthirster and she's just going to heal it all back up, it doesn't really matter. <sighs> but pretty much what I can see happening right now, because I've seen it happen like a billion times, Timo tries to flank us and tries to go straight for a priority target, which right now would be me. Because simply, simply put, Draven is almost at the point where he'd do decent amounts of damage, even though he's really not strong. But he's still not there yet. And let's go ahead and drop this Emperor's Divide right there. He will be going down immediately. It looks like she will be going down. Bam! There's another kill. And maybe just keep poking him. Keep poking him. And there's another one. Let's go ahead and drop this bitch right here. And bam! There it is! The double kill coming out from me. And Darius will be picking up the ace right there. So, using superior positioning... With my Shuriman Ballers, I will be able to just sit in the back and destroy their team with loads of damage. And with that, we... Ouch. 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 With that, we should be able to get the um, inhibitor because of so much damage under those turrets. So if that mushroom hit me, I probably would have had to zone yes, actually, which is kind of... Kind of funny, almost. Let's go ahead and just take this gun out of here. And whoosh! See if I can just get out of there faster. But that will be the inhibitor going down after a very well-played fight by myself and my team, of course. And I can go back and complete my full build. And this is where it's getting a little fuzzy. Because still, not really anyone on their team is building MR. So actually, for now, I'm going to get the Rylize. Um, due to the fact that 
it will provide me with more use right now than a Void Staff. Void Staff is good, but that HP that I get from this Rylize... Jeez, what am I looking for? Oh, god damn it. Alright, whatever. Should I just wait? I'm just going to wait for 30 gold for my elixir. But the... I'll, I'll, I'll take the time to explain this real fast. The Void Staff is a spectacular item, yes, but it's not as good when they have, like, nothing for me to pierce. And it looks like lots of damage going out there. The Whirling Death coming in, and Teemo right in the front. Super Mega Death Rod coming out. My team is fighting without me. I am coming, team. <coughs> that was not good. They are fucked. They are fucked. So, why are they trying to surrender? They... They brought that upon themselves. All right, this is when I can be a hero. I can do this. Maybe. 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 Whoop. Nope. It. Yeah, there's not going to be one kill. Damn it. Nope. The wind wall shrecked me. But uh, yeah. Anyways. So, well, if we group up and not die like that in a 4v5, so that was, ugh. So that was pretty much the biggest throw that my team could have possibly done in that, like, 20 seconds that I chose to wait. Um, that was terrible. That was literally, I think, the very worst choice they could have made right there. Uh, in, <laughs> in all honesty. So, fuck it. I, I just saw how much shit they have. If I sell this now, I don't have enough money. I'll have close to enough, but I won't have enough. Wait, maybe? 20, 30, I'll have... No, I'll, I'll, I won't have enough. I'll be off by like 100 gold. So, just gonna wait for now then, and still chill on this Rylai's. I do like Rylai's a lot, but I'm just gonna, just gonna chill on it. So, what the fuck? Did he, like, not see this coming? I don't know, man. Alright. Let's see. I should probably set my turret there. What the heck? What is going on? What in tarnation? Olaf, no! Olaf, no! Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Alright. Whoop! There we go. Let's go ahead and get out of this situation. And whoosh! Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Damn it. What the fuck? <sighs> That's going to be the end of the game, though. <sighs> that kind of sucks, actually. Because um, I guess Darius is trying to do something. And wrecked. <laughs> ah, at least we got to watch Timo get dunked. So... Oh man, that was truly disappointing. Extraordinarily disappointing, in all honesty. Um, there's really nothing else to say. Like That was painful. I was doing very well at the beginning, and I just gradually did worse throughout the game. So personally, like on my own mind, that sucks on its own. But, damn man. I don't like to blame shit on my team, but they shouldn't have been going in without me. That's not good. Anyways, if you guys still enjoyed this video, make sure you like and favorite me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, or my second channel. All four links will be in the description below. And as always, I love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace!